Hi everyone, it's Tawny. Thanks for checking out my video today. Uh, today we are doing something a little different. I kind of got a little inspiration to do this and I thought it'd be something kind of interesting to try out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any other suggestions for anything video game related or makeup related or what have you, I'd love to check those out. Today we are going to be doing a Animal Crossing look inspired by one of the like design cores that you could do for your island. Now I feel like saying core is kind of like overrated in terms of like Animal Crossing, but I feel like it's necessary for this kind of a video and series I'm going to be doing here on my channel. This video is going to be focusing on forest core. So we're going to be doing lots of greens and earthy tones and like kind of keeping my whole face more earthy toned. We'll see how that pans out. Let me know what some of the other ones you'd like to see me do. I have a couple in mind, but I know that there's like a thousand cores. So like, let me know your thoughts and what I should do next. If there's a specific one you want me to do next, I'd love like your input on that. So getting started, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and just priming my face. And next for foundation, we're going in with a Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation in the shade light beige. I haven't used this foundation in a while. I used to really like this foundation. So I want to see if I can like bring that back for today's video as well as spill some on my shirt. <laughs> or the giant glob of foundation on my shirt throughout the rest of this video. All right, and for concealer, we're doing the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer from Catrice. Mine is in the shade Honey. It has a very yellow undertone, which I don't, I feel like I don't usually gravitate towards yellows, but I think this is kind of one of those that they're just naturally, like they're all yellow tones. So you just kind of have to pick the one that matches you the best and doesn't look too horribly yellow. I'm first going in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder under my eyes, and I'm just taking this lightly because it is a yellow toned powder, and I'm just putting that just directly under my eyes just to brighten them up just a little bit, and hopefully the banananess of it isn't like too intense. And then with the rest of my face, I'm going in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder, and I have the shade Fair. For my con, yeah, I was gonna say contour and then I was gonna be like, nope, wait, concealer. And then I was like, no, wait, that's still wrong. For my bronzer, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in In The Sun.
and for blush, we're gonna do butter blush in, yeah, in spicy mauve. For highlighter, I'm going in with Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter in Supreme Rose Beam. All right, I primed my eyelids and I did my brows off camera. So now we're gonna go in with the fun part, which is the eyeshadow. I feel like I'm like saying words wrong tonight and I haven't filmed in quite a while, so I can understand that I wouldn't have, but at the same time, like, I've watched enough makeup videos to feel like I should know these words, that like these words not coming to me is like, wow, that's just rough. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using the BH Absinthe palette, which looks like this, super nice and pretty and very woodsy. And I also recently picked up the Profusion Desert Sage palette, which that's the outside. And mine has a cracked mirror, and then it looks like this on the inside. And it's super cute. I'm going to be focusing on this area here because it's very, like, green and brown and very wood-toned. And I feel like it would go perfect with, like, that forest core vibe I'm trying to go with today. I'm going to start out with a light brown shade and just kind of, like, put that all over my lid and just kind of start the base as being very neutral. All right, now I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna go in with this light green shade in the Profusion palette. I believe it's called Joshua Tree. It's super pretty. It does. It looks a lot brighter on camera than it really is. And I'm just gonna put that up in my crease and kind of like on the outer portion of my crease. So that way, like when I do this, you can still see it. Cause I have very hooded eyes. Like I have no eye space whenever I have like my head up like this, like you can't see anything because my brows just kind of like take over, like the brows and the skin below my brows kind of just take over. So I'm gonna do a couple light layers up above and then I'm also gonna mix in some brown with that as well and just kind of do like a very earth toned upper section. All right, under that and in the crease, we're going to take the shade Cactus. No, it is Sage. And we're gonna put that right in the crease. It is a nice deep brown. Or nice deep green, I should say. It's showing up a lot more lime green than I was expecting, but we'll make it work. I think that's starting to look really nice. Then I'm gonna take the shade Blackout 
and I'm gonna put that on the inner and outer corners of my eye just to try and like deepen things up on the green side a little bit more. So then with a different brush that I use to blend out this green, I'm going to go in with a medium brown and put that on my lower lash line. And then on the inner part, I'd like to go in, I think I'm going to go in with Urban Legend and maybe go in with Green Fairy on top of it. And I'm just going to use my finger now that I have no nails. I can go in with my finger now, which they're so boring. Like, look at my little nubbies. It's fine. I mean, this looks super pretty. And now I'm gonna go in with Green Fairy after I wiped off my finger. This one looks a lot brighter. And I'm just using that same fluffy brush to just kind of blend everything in together so it's not quite as like, you know, intense. And we don't see any edges. That's what we don't want.
And I'm going to go in with our highlighter and just highlight a little bit of my inner corner and then hit my brow bone. And I'm going to use a mascara I haven't used in a while. It's the e.l.f. and Jay Kissa Brown Mascara. Very brown. I'm going to use my freckle pen and mine is in the shade soft brown. And for lips, I'm using the Essence Lipstick in the shade, this is Nude Legendary. All right, let me know what you guys think about my look in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload the next video in this series and or something a little different. Who knows what I'll throw in the mix. Thanks for checking this video out, you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!